SFRC online. This video tutorial will take you through the steps to orient a stereo pair of images in VR mapping. VR mapping is a soft copy stereo plotter software suite developed by Cardinal Systems. We'll be going through interior, relative, and absolute orientation. Let's get started. You'll need the following files to perform the orientation. You'll need your image files. Um, in this tutorial, the files will be 420 and 421 uh, TIFF files from Campus Photography. You'll need a camera calibration file, in our case, hcicam99.cam. And you'll need a control point coordinate file. For us, that'll be mhcontrol.core. It's also helpful to have uh, location maps for your control points in order to pinpoint them uh, in the absolute orientation step. In order to begin, we must first create a project. Open up VR2 orientation. This is the program we'll be using for all orientation steps. From the file menu, select project, then select new project from the drop down menu. Click the create a new folder icon and name it. We'll name ours Geomagician. Next, we need to name the file. So first, navigate to the, the folder you just created and type in a file name. Now click Save to continue. That'll open the Edit Project dialog window. We need to run through a few steps in here to get started with our project. The first thing you want to do is click the button with the square in it next to the coordinates uh, frame. Now navigate to the jobs folder where your .core file should be located. Double click that and that will set that file, in our case mhcontrol.core, as your control point coordinate file. Next click the define images button in the bottom left hand corner of the dialog. That will open the edit project define images dialog. First thing we need to do in this dialog is to define the project cameras. To do that, click the add button. Now again, navigate to the jobs folder and select the camera file. In our case, hcicam99.cam and click open. We need to, we need to let the, the software know what our pixel size is. For the campus photography, it's 0.014 which is the size in millimeters of, of each of the pixels. Next click Add Photos. Navigate again to the Jobs folder in the leftmost list. Select the images you want to use and click the arrow button to add them to the Files to Open list. Now click OK. Next, click OK to close the Edit Project dialog that defines the images, and that'll take you out to the Edit Project Active Model dialog. Next, we need to add a model. And since we're creating a new model, we just need to name what we're going to create. So clicking the Add Model button will bring up this dialog, and we'll give it a name. Click OK. And you'll get a message window uh, most likely, that says the left and right image names must be different. Click OK, and we're going to set our images to the correct uh, order. So the for our case, uh, 420 is the left image, and 421 is the right image. Next, we need to set all the epipolar resample image parameters. We'll keep the resampling mode at bilinear, but we'll change the image resolution to 0.0140 so that they have the same image resolution as the original photos. Everything else should be kept the same. Now click OK. The next step is to do the interior orientation. In this step, we'll define an image coordinate system so we can correct for camera distortion. To start interior orientation, select left interior orientation from the orientation drop-down menu. 
When you start interior orientation, you may have to build image pyramids. This facilitates zooming in this process. It may take a little while, but just wait and watch the progress bar until it completes. Once the interior orientation dialog opens, we can find the image coordinate system by measuring the image coordinates of fiducials in the images. Note that the numbering in VR2 orientation is different than in the campus photography. This isn't a problem because the software starts our cursor off close to the correct fiducial. To zoom, click the center mouse button. To center on the crosshairs, right click. And to measure, left click. Page up and page down keys zoom out and in respectively. Using the page up and page down keys in concert with the left and right mouse buttons is probably the best way to locate and measure the fiducials. You may also notice a small dialog with commands and their associated keystrokes and mouse clicks. These are common within VR mapping software. The numbers correspond to function F keys on the keyboard. So I'll go through and measure all the fiducials and call out the keystrokes as I use them. Left click, page down, left click, page up, page up, right click, page down, page down, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click, and left click. And you'll notice that towards the end of measuring the fiducials, the software starts to anticipate where they are, making it easier and go faster as you get towards the end. It may have appeared that I was just coarsely clicking on the fiducial points, but in fact I was making minor adjustments to get very precise measurements to the center of those dots. Once you've measured all the points, check your total RMS error in the interior orientation dialog to make sure it's within tolerance. For us, our tolerance was 0.01, and we're at 0 0.006. So to exit interior orientation, click OK, and then click yes to save when prompted. You'll then repeat this process for the right image by selecting right interior orientation from the drop down menu. You'll do the exact same thing as you did with left interior orientation. So once you've finished the orientation, it's time to move on to relative orientation. In this step, we'll find the orientation of each of the images with respect to each other. To begin relative orientation, Select Relative Orientation from the Orientation drop-down menu. There should be four image windows open, two overview windows, and two measurement windows. Notice that we again get a dialog with commands and associated mouse clicks and keystrokes. These are only applicable to the measure windows. Use the overview windows to select an area that you want to lo locate a point in. For instance, left clicking in the left overview window will take you to the, that location in the left measure window at a zoomed scale. Only left click in the overview windows in order to avoid moving or rescaling them. Left click in the left overview window in your area of interest. Then left click in the right overview window in the same area of interest. Activate a measure window by clicking on the top border of it. You can then use page up and page down to zoom in and out. Notice that when you zoom in in one measure window, the other measure window will be automatically zoomed to the same extent. Use the right mouse button to center, and use the left mouse button to measure the same point in each image. You may also use the image correlation function. You can do this by centering both measure windows on a point that you want to use. Center. Then while holding the mouse cursor over the point in the left image, press F7. You can then either left click or right click to accept or reject the point respectively. Keep in mind that autocorrelation does best when there is uniqueness, texture, and contrast. Otherwise, you may get poor solutions or poor positions of the points. After you measure each point, the program automatically selects the next point for measurement. To navigate back to previous points, use the buttons next to the points in the relative orientation dialog 
located in the upper left corner of the screen. The default numbers of points is six. However, using more points can be helpful. You may add points beyond six by clicking the Add Measurement button in the Relative Orientation dialog. After you've measured all the pass points, click OK in the Relative Orientation dialog and save when prompted. The program will ask you if you want to create epipolar images, a resampling process that allows for stereo viewing. Click yes and wait for the process to complete as indicated by the progress bar in the main dialog. Once you have finished relative orientation, you will begin the absolute orientation process. Begin by clicking absolute orientation from the orientation drop down menu. You may get a dialog that indicates that pyramids are being built. Just wait for that process to complete and it'll kick you out to this, this absolute orientation dialog. You can now don your 3D stereo glasses. You should be able to see a 3D representation of your stereo model on the screen. We can't see that in video, so you may notice a flicker, and that's the two images being shown on the screen at the same time. Use the absolute orientation control point dialog located in the upper left-hand corner of the screen to activate the points you want to locate by clicking on the numbered button beside it. You can use location maps to help you locate the points in the images. When viewing the images in 3D, it is helpful to focus your eyes on the floating mark and use the mouse wheel to move the mark in the Z direction. Holding shift while doing so will speed up the movement. Position the mark exactly on top of the control point and then left click to measure it. Sliders at the bottom of the image window can help you to see the points better by adjusting the brightness and contrast. Make sure that the Z component is correct. Uh, you can do this as a check by alternately blinking your left eye and then your right eye. And make sure that, that the floating mark is on top of the same position in each image. After measuring all the control points you'll use, check the residuals of your points. These are located in the absolute orientation dialog in the upper right hand corner. In our case, we expected residuals on the order of a couple centimeters, and, we're, and that's the kind of results that we're getting. After you're satisfied with your residuals, click OK in the absolute orientation dialog, and yes when you're prompted to save. And that completes the orientation process. You now have an absolutely oriented stereo model that you can take measurements, create a topographic map, even create ortho photos with.